So YouTube, <clears throat> I just wanted to make a quick video about what I had done. I changed the gearing onto the second gear instead of the third, so it's harder to turn. Uh, so hopefully it'll take some speed out of the blades. I've got this bit of rope, which is very important. That's down the, uh, it's connected to the front of the turbine. Basically I can use this if I get a serious problem to move the tail out of the wind and then as long as I join the two power cables down there together that will stop everything. So I just want to show you that and <clears throat> I'm going to show you how easy it is to put the tower up. It, it doesn't, just by putting it up it's not complete. You have to connect the longest cable from the top down onto there which isn't ideal that should be lower it's, it's another thing that isn't perfect but it doesn't really seem to matter so we insert this bad boy in here and slowly tug away I'd say the top at the head of the turbine weighs about 40 kilos, maybe 30, somewhere between 30 and 40, I'll weigh it one day. Uh, but you can see the, uh, we've got some nice winter actually. It's gonna be sweet! There she goes! Just always stop and look, nothing's. Uh, too much out of place so it's up about 30 degrees. You see the gin pole <clears throat> takes all the stress. That's what takes the stress. These three cables here are holding all the weight basically of all that. And obviously when you combine leverage I think it's about 26 feet. When you combine leverage in there there's actually a lot of weight up at the top. What are you doing buddy? Oh, Helpers with me today. So, yes, we shall continue the correction. Ha ha. What I've done with the power cables coming down from the motor, I've just connected them together. That basically means that any power created will go back into itself and it just stops the motor dead basically. So you know that when the turbine's up, it's not going to start spinning out of control. You're going to have time to set it up correctly and see if there's any problems. And of course, we can use that bit of rope to turn the turbine into the wind as we have no tail, basically. <clears throat> it's taking longer than it usually would, holding the camera. Okay, that's tight on there, okay, that doesn't mean it's ready, perfect, but it's tight on there, we have to move this down here, and then we're ready to take off this cable here, that's what I'm going to do in the next part, I'm going to do that before I start filming, he's got to take this off here, <coughs> and put it on there, like I say, that isn't perfect, but that, what I'll do then is I'll basically, whenever I connect, if I connect that onto there, I'll loosen the turnbuckle all the way out, then connect it, then get the cable as tight as I can by hand, and then use the turnbuckle. Uh, that cable isn't very tight. Now, the cables don't have to be tight at all, surprisingly, to hold it there. If you look how much flex I've got on all these cables, but that thing, because it's got a few connected to it, it's not going anywhere, you know. Obviously it's not fully up quite yet because I haven't the act of moving this one onto that uh, point sorts out. We're getting some nice wind already, the motor's trying to move even though it's tied together. So it's going to be cool, so I'm going to switch off now and sort out all the turnbuckles and stuff and then come back and we'll switch it on. I have a multimeter. Woo! So I'll see you in a bit. 